So today, um, this is actually the take two of me recording this video because I forgot to show one of the features. Uh, so I just made the other video private in case uh, you uh, saw that link and now you're seeing this one. But um, I just wanted to go over quickly model view delegate structure. Um, it's pretty straightforward once you get into it. It's, it's very complicated to look at it um, from a distance, but once you get um, into it, it's very simple. So just to explain a little bit of the back end of this, um, I have a little, just a JSON file um, where I have, uh, so JSON is all built off of like dictionaries essentially. So I have like some characters and then assets, or some, some stats about them, then their affiliation, and then if they have special um, teleport or transportation. So like with uh, Deadpool, we have like teleportation. Um, all these values I actually took from a website, uh, a little Deadpool. Um, uh, called the superhero database. So that's what has all the information. Um, so if if you disagree with any of this, feel free to go talk to those people because I didn't come up with it. But I agree that Deadpool is awesome and sort of crazy. So um, anyway, the model aspect of this is the back end data. So I had to make a subclass model that can take a JSON file and push it out um, in all these indices to where it understands what all this stuff is. Um, but once you build that model, you just take a view and you say view, show this model. Um, and that's why you can have two of these that are showing the exact same data without you having to do any syncing. So for example, like if I were to check this and change that to 41, that one gets updated as well because these are duplicate um, views showing the exact same model um, which is quite useful um, so you can just have one model structure and you can sort of plug it in wherever you need to without having to worry about that individual um, item storing all this data or you don't have to worry about syncing data between multiple views of the same thing um, for example if you have two different um, uh, instances of something that you need to to work a certain way. You don't have to worry about any of that sort of data duplication, um, which can be a huge hassle. Um, so within the model as well, um, there's a little bit of stuff that I'm doing as far as some display things. Um, for example, uh, I'm changing the color of these based on uh, the number. So if it's below 25, there's a white background. Below 50, a cyan background. Below 75, a orange background and 100 and below um, a red background um, which works pretty well just to sort of give you a quick visualization of everything that's happening um, and it's pretty straightforward now one of the things you might have noticed when I clicked on this is if you never if you ever dealt with a normal table you click in on something and you know you have a character something like that um, that's how a normal table would sort of work where you, you click in and you change things um, but this is actually working a little bit different because if I click it it's giving me a spin box okay the reason it's giving me a spin box is because of the delegate aspect the delegates deal a lot with like how things are drawn in the scene and how you're working with them by default everything has a delegate built in um, but you can sort of change some of that stuff up so that like I, whenever I click on one of these it gives me a spin box so I can manipulate that. I'm just going to put down something to where it will change the color as well. Um, it'll, you know, so I can, I can have that sort of control over manipulating these. Um, over here on the affiliation and the special transport, I'm making it to where whenever I click on something, I just get a pop up with, um, uh, or a combo box that sort of shows all the different. Uh, characters that are there and or the different affiliations that I already have um, so I can just change this around um, so now Colossus is part of the Thunderbolts and that updates in both directions um, the feature that I forgot to show off before is uh, sorting so whenever you make your own model um, because of how it stores the data you have to implement some sort of sorting mechanism if you want it to be able to be sorted um, so right now it's sorted um, character alphabetically but if you can you can change to where you're sorting by the intelligence and you can go back and forth um, because what it's actually doing is it's taking all these rows of information and behind the scenes it's rearranging um, a list so that it's rebuilding how this is being displayed 
Uh, and then it actually updates. Right now, I'm showing like all the information, um, but it's actually pretty intelligent in how it works because it only pulls the information that it needs to for display, which is another reason that the views are actually incredibly powerful. Um, because you know you only have one set of data, but it's only accessing it exactly where you need it. Um, so let's see. Oh yeah, and I built it to where I can also add in because um, it made the combo box editable. Um, so let's say. Oh, actually, with Aquaman um, swimming, I'll give it all caps because he can swim really good. Um, let's just say that the Hulk can as well. Why not? He's ultra swimmer. Um, but like I said, through just subclassing a model and delegate, I'm able to take that back end information, um, calculate how I want to be able to display it. And you know, so I can change colors around, I can change fonts and things like that pretty easily. Um, and then on the delegate side, change how you can manipulate and edit with it. Um, it's very quick um, to put something like this together, it only takes a couple of hours. Um, and that's if you're probably if you're starting from scratch and sort of learning it as well. Um, but it's very useful and uh, makes your life a lot easier once you start understanding these and how you can use the, these data models. Um, to just structure everything around. Um, but again, this is a pretty straightforward, just sort of basic example. Um, and I hope to be doing some more, just to show a little bit different varieties, sort of showing like some of the tree views and different things of that nature. Cool. Thanks for watching.